Hi everybody, it's July 19, 2018. It wasn't the first red flag, but it was a major red flag for me when Trump laid out his national security strategy. And in that national security strategy, he made 5G a national security priority. Well, if you know a little bit about Trump's history, with Tesla. If you know that Donald's uncle John was the guy that our government, our FBI, sent to review Tesla's papers after he was murdered. And if you know that in an interview with Donald Trump, where they were talking about his uncle, Donald said that his uncle was a brilliant man. We have very good genetics. And that is spoken like a true narcissist, but he also revealed that his uncle would tell me many years ago about the power of weapons someday, that the destructive force of these weapons would be so massive that it's going to be a scary world. So it sounds to me that John talked to his nephew about scalar weapons, about frequency weapons, about electromagnetic weapons that could ultimately control the world, control weather, take down planes, do all sorts of crazy things that would make the world a scary place. Now, when you know a little bit about the millimeter wave, which is 5G, which is what Trump made a national security priority, and in his infrastructure package, he has allotted 50 billion to rural communities to roll out broadband, 5G. And he wants the permitting process for wireless operators to ease up because the wireless industry has been having a little bit of a difficult time with an awful lot of Americans who are not wanting these 5G small cell small cells all over their homes and in their communities. But Trump wants to ease the permitting process for the installing of these small cells all over. If you have done the research on 5G, which is the millimeter waveband, you will know that the millimeter waveband is the bandwidth that our military uses. So they are offering to just ordinary citizens the bandwidth that our military uses. Don't you think that that should beg some questions? It certainly did in my mind. But these weapons, the millimeter wave weapons, are directed energy weapons. A subset of high power microwave, and, and 5G, the millimeter wave, is within the microwave bandwidth. A subset of high power microwave devices can affect the human body. Millimeter Wave band energy can penetrate human skin to a very shallow depth, heating the tissue below. It produces a burning pain without actually damaging the tissue, though that there are studies that show that they can damage the tissue. Depending on the force of the millimeter wave and how long that millimeter wave is directed at a person. In fact, they can kill people with the millimeter wave. 
But here, the pain forces the person to flee the area. This type of weapon shows great potential as a riot control device or area denial system. 5G is the active denial system, the non-lethal anti-personnel directed energy weapon that our military uses. This is what they are rolling out all over the country, an active denial system. It has a beam that creates a painful sensation. And here, this, this article from the Heritage um, Organization was years and years ago, relatively close to deployment. Well, 5G is its deployment. The death ray of science fiction may in fact become a reality in the not too distant future. Well, let's see if I have anything else in purple. Purple is the 5G. Where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, another article I wanted to get to. Hot to try. This is globalsecurity.org, their website. So-called active denial technology, which earns its moniker by actively hurting people out of its path, works by using a beam of millimeter length microwaves to heat up a person's skin. The Marines are planning to put a version of the weapon onto a Jeep. Its range and properties are classified, but military newspapers say it can heat a person's skin to 55 degrees Celsius, 130 degrees Fahrenheit, at distances of up to 750 meters. This has urban warfare planners excited, as it would let American forces clear city blocks in, say, Baghdad, or New York City, or Anderson, South Carolina, or Los Angeles, California, Houston, Texas, without going door to door and risking American casualties, those American soldiers. Weapons such as high power microwaves, 5G millimeter wave, may have unintended long-term health consequences. Weapons such as the active denial system could cause severe trauma or even death if fired at close range or held on a target for too long. Critics of non-lethal systems also worry that they might be used for repression of civilian populations. Now, I think our government has taught us that we are not to trust them. Do you trust Trump, considering his ties to Tesla, he being the nephew of John Trump, he understanding that we would have weapons that would make the world a scary place, and suddenly he's in the White House rolling out 5G, the Miller meter wave, the active denial system. Now, so many Americans are really excited about 5G, can't wait, oh my god, I'm going to be able to download faster. Well, once 5G, the infrastructure is completed, do you understand that they can use those small cell antennas all over the place to create a prison? To keep you locked in your neighborhood or to keep you locked out of, let's say, gated communities? And do you understand that 5G, the millimeter wave, <laughs> I feel like I have 5G right now. Um, all day long, I'm either dizzy or I get these, I guess they're the migraine without the headache, you know, those lights, jagged 
colored lights at the periphery of your vision. I, I'm getting it right now. Um, Anyway, I'm just going to go on. Passive millimeter wave imaging with extended depth of field and sparse data. Okay. Uh, U.S. Army Research Laboratory, Center for Automation Research, University of Maryland. Here is a picture for you. This is what 5G years ago could do. 5G is going to create surveillance where they will be able to see you through walls and they will be able to see everything on your body if you're carrying a gun or a knife or anything they will be able to as you're walking down the street with those millimeter waves coming right at you all over the place. They will be able to see exactly what's in your briefcase, in your bag, in your pockets, underneath your clothing. Yes, that's why the military uses the millimeter bandwidth. bandwidth. And now they're rolling it out all over the country. And who was it that said during the National Defense Authorization Act that Obama signed New Year's Eve, pretty sneaky of you, um, that did away with our due process rights. Who said that our homeland was a battlefield or America was now a battlefield? Guess what it is. Was it Lindsey Graham? I can't remember. Uh, no, Lindsey Graham said um, you don't deserve uh, an attorney. If you're an enemy combatant, you don't deserve an attorney. They, they look, you know, they have been, certainly since 9-11, and every day since, they have been transforming our country into a tyrannical police state. It's been so obvious. And now we have Trump rolling out the military bandwidth. So each press, each president, I mean, Obama, Obama, oh my God, um, with great speed, he transformed this country into a, a police state and did away he did away with our due process rights in that National Defense Authorization Act, and Americans just went on. Who cares? Who cares? Due process. Oh, well, it was that thing that distinguished us from every other people in every other country in the world. Due process. Really, really, really important. You know, we, if we're arrested, we get to know why. We get to know our charges. We get to have an attorney. We get to have that speedy trial, though that, yeah, an awful lot. Um, doesn't happen anymore in this country, but the National Defense Authorization Act did away with all of those rights. Obama said, oh, I won't use it, and I guess that was okay, but now we've got Trump. Um, so, he rolling out this 5G, making it easy for the telecommunications industry to get that small cell infrastructure up and running? Yes, you cannot ignore this. Microwave, millimeter wave systems for wall, wall penetration. So they can use this wall penetration technology. They have been using it with Wi-Fi, but the 5G, it gives them greater resolution. So this was back in 1998. Listen to what it says. Conduct surveillance through walls and the ability to detect the presence of living persons behind doors or other barriers. Covert surveillance and personnel detection are of high interest to both the Department of Defense in support of small unit operations and the Justice Department. 
for civilian law enforcement applications. Microwave sensors are under development that can detect the presence of persons, even weapons, behind walls and track moving persons behind walls. And it can even detect your heartbeat. This is very dangerous technology that I believe is in the works already. But they keep talking about how they're rolling it out, rolling it out, rolling it out. And I have to say, I've come across just recently articles that were posted by the RAND Corporation and another think tank, I can't remember. And they were talking about how all of our wireless devices are using 5G. And that was years ago. So I wonder if we've been duped. That we, that I believe the police and the military already have the 5G and they are using it. You know, they can shoot it into, you know, somebody's home and see right through the walls um, with great clarity. But maybe the small cells are really the weapon. It's, it's the weaponized 5G because the millimeter wave will be on you all the time. And if you do something wrong, you'll get zapped and you'll have a painful sensation and you'll have to move away. So if you happen to be entering an area that they don't want you entering it, zap. So low intensity millimeter waves reduce the brain bioelectrical activity reactions arising from the mobile phone electromagnetic frequency. Hmm. Well, if you know anything about extremely high frequency generators, apparently you can insert this generator into the handset. It will reduce the negative effects of the mobile telephone electromagnetic field. Um, electromagnetic radiation, 5G wireless technology, the millimeter wave health effects. I'm not going to go into this. I have a 5G microwave uh, playlist and I've posted a lot of videos on the health effects of 5G. And when you look at the health effects of 5G and you look at the fact that, well, it was our former FCC chairman who came out and said, we're not going to wait for studies. We're not going to wait for any rules and regulations. We're going to make billions and billions and billions of dollars. So we're rolling it out. So when you see that there have been uh, scientists and doctors supporting a 5G moratorium, but Trump doesn't care. He wants it rolled out. Well, that to me suggests that Trump has an agenda to get that rolled out. Interesting that the millimeter wave has effects on dopamine. Now we all know, or do we all know? I don't know. Um, you know, that cell phone addiction that people have? Well, it's the dopamine. The dopamine. The frequencies are affecting your neurotransmitters in your brain. And, well, dopamine, that neurotransmitter, it's really, really, really important. And it can be affected in a way that it can make you an addict. An addict. And this is why people are addicted to their cell phones. Because along with other important neurotransmitters um, that send signals to other nerve cells, dopamine has a major role in the reward-motivated behavior, motivation. 
And that's why you see an awful lot of people, they've got to check their uh, email and their Twitter and uh, their text. And, ooh, I got a text. Got to see it. Got to see it. Got to see it. Oh, my God. What a crazy world we are living in. But the millimeter wave and the sub-millimeter wave has a tremendous effect because our skin, our skin has arrays of helical, helical antennas. Is that the correct pronunciation? We're walking antennas. We are walking antennas. So that means that we attract these dangerous frequencies. So when you know that they are rolling out an active denial system and increasing the clarity of their surveillance and the very dangerous health effects. No, I don't trust Trump. So before I get into uh, the, the main reason why I'm posting this video, I just want to remind everybody, if you have not seen my video, if you have not read this article, how Big Wireless made us think that cell phones are safe. It was a special investigation. This is posted on the nation's website, the disinformation campaign and massive radiation increase behind the 5G rollout. This is going to make our population so sick and we have become an incredibly unhealthy people already 5G wait to see how sick people get and wait to see how many people die in this article it um, reveals that the cell phones were put on the market without any safety testing. It also reveals that the telecommunications industry hid studies which showed that microwave frequencies cause cancer. 